Hey guys, Adam here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing and also follow me on Instagram. The topic of today's episode, of course, you saw from the title is zombie squats. But before I get to that, uh, as many of you know, I have been lifting weights for a very long time, going on 35 years now of continuous injury-free uh, weightlifting. And even with that, I'm still chasing personal bests. And one of the personal bests I've been working on lately is in my grip. Specifically, a personal best in a double overhand, beltless, conventional deadlift. And what I'm chasing at the moment, short term anyway, is a 450 pound double overhand, beltless deadlift. As a drug-free athlete and approaching 50 years old, I have to figure out new ways to get personal bests. I mean, I've already squatted over 600 pounds raw, so I'm probably not going to beat that. I've benched over 400. I have front squatted 500. I've overhead pressed nearly 400 pounds. So those things I am probably never going to beat again. But that drive and hunger to keep improving is always there. And today I hit 420, which is getting closer to that 450, but at the top of that lift, the bar was starting to roll and I was starting to lose my grip. Okay, so now on to the topic of this episode. Zombie squats. And I've been doing these since about February and I love them. If you get to the point where you've been lifting for 10, 15, 20, or as long as I have, you need variety. It's not just a spice of life. It's also very important in weightlifting. You have to have variety in order to keep improving. If you're considering adding front squats to your program, then starting out with zombie squats is a great way to build those cues to stay upright. It'll help build core strength, upper back strength. And if you are lacking or struggling in any one of those areas, then you will not be able to front squat properly. You will lose the bar. Your elbows will drop and that will be it. So I use this a lot as a warm up, but I think I might push the zombie squats this year and try and get above three bills. So after those few warm-ups, I just did regular front squats, and I do my bodybuilder style, cross arm. And these felt great today. Uh, two plates here, felt super light. I finished off with 275. I don't lift very heavy uh, during throwing season. I saved that for the off season. But 275, I felt like I could have done that 10 times. So it's just a great workout. And that was that for that workout. It was about an hour long. And I hope you guys will give zombie squats a try. Work them into your routine. Uh, and with that, stay tuned for episode 71 of The Ways.